Hi everyone, I'm Claire and I'm actually on site at the National Space Centre today to give you guys a little tour of some of our space shuttle artefacts. I'm starting off right here in our car park, see our rocket tower just behind me, because of something you might walk past when you visit. Hopefully on your next visit you won't walk past it, and that is this satellite cradle, actually made in the UK for use on Space Shuttle Atlantis, using it to launch an Intelsat satellite, commercial satellite that we're going to launch on the Atlantis mission. However, after the Challenger disaster, actually moved away from commercial satellites. So we have one of the 10 cradles built, I believe, actually on site. And you can come and stand next to it and see just how big a satellite would have been and just how big the space shuttle would have been as well. It's a very cool, good picture opportunity there too. After you've taken a good look at that, we'll come on down to visit the Space Centre. Another good self opportunity with our little astronaut statue as well. Selfie with him too on your way in. Now we're actually closed today. That's why I'm not wearing my mask because there's not many people around and I'm keeping my distance. Now a common misconception is that with the astronaut footprints there's actually an age restriction and I'm here to tell you the truth. There's not an age restriction. Any age, any person can do the astronaut footprint. And I actually can't come down to the space centre without doing the astronaut footprints. It's like something's missing so I should do the astronaut footprints. Make sure you get all of them in. And there we go. So all the way down. So typically, when the space centre is open, you will come through a set of doors that will be just there on your left. And because we are closed, we're going to take a bit of a shortcut into our ticketing area. So we'll go through the door. Now we are actually now open at Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. And it's essential you pre-book with it, so pre-book online at your tickets. And you'll come through these doors just here to our ticketing area. There are different boarding gates you'll be asked to go to. And one of you will be asked to go up, confirm your tickets and you'll be let into the centre. So we go along this corridor, got the anticipation build. Come all the way down till we get to the actual centre itself. Now when you go through these doors here, you have Sawyer's module directly in front of us, ready to greet us. This module actually takes astronauts to the International Space Station. You have your cafe, Boosters Cafe on your left. Great for any drinks, snacks, lunch. Get a nice spugnet station, baked potato. I personally love the nachos. Get a good hot chocolate or a milkshake. So great to go to. And we're going around Sawyer's. To our astronaut suits. We have our first artifact inside to do with a space shuttle. We have Pierce Sellers training suit and helmet. Now Pierce Sellers was an American British NASA astronaut and he flew on three space shuttle missions. Quite an amazing feat. This was his training suit. So make sure you check out Pierce Sellers suit which is right next to Tim Peake's Sawyer's suit. This is what Tim Peake wore on his flight to the International Space Station in 2015. It's a really cool to get a look at. No, Tim Peake's not that small, it's just the way it's kind of postured to make him look. Right next to Buzz Aldrin's underwear. And opposite the spacesuits we have our planetarium. One of the most common questions we get at the Space Centre when you visit is where is the planetarium? It is just here, kind of opposite the shop. Those two double doors are the entrance, some hand sanitizer there, and this is where you would queue for the planetarium. So Claire's top tip, get to the planetarium a little bit earlier than your showtime. They will close the doors if you miss your showtime. It's not a very nice thing. You don't want to miss your planetarium show. It's one of the coolest things about the Space Centre. So make sure you join the queue a little bit earlier. Now we're going into our interspace gallery. First one on your left. To our next artifact, we have the Space Shuttle tyre. Now this is a tyre from Space Shuttle Endeavour. It's part of the main landing gear. Actually spent 10 days in space, so it has been to space. It racked up about 4,007,000 miles in space. It's a very amazing feat. They fill the space shuttle tyres with nitrogen to stabilise them because they go through very extreme temperatures from about minus 40 degrees in space to on re entry about 50 degrees Celsius. So, very, very cold, very, very hot, very quickly. Also, atmospheric pressures change as well. So, it has to be stable and safely land them. So, that's definitely something to tick off as well when you visit the centre. We'll go through the interspace gallery, past some more awesome spacesuits, and we come to the Columbus module. This is our mock-up of the Columbus module. 
is a full scale. So when you walk through, it's like you're actually on the International Space Station. The Colors module was taken on Space Shuttle Atlantis up to Space 2, which is very, very cool. And here we have kind of a little mock-up, a little astronaut quarters that was on board the space station. Now, right on the wall there, you might make out some M&Ms. That is flight flown M&Ms actually been to space. Now, Malika is going to be showing us how to make some brownies with M&Ms. That's definitely another video to look out for, to make some tasty brownies. And we'll come through the Columbus module. And into space, got some more space food and things on display. Round past the space toilet, making a loop round. So the next place we're going to go, you don't typically get to see on a visit to the Space Centre. And this place is home to our Space Academy. So we're heading up to the Science Lab. So we have our kind of one-way system to use the stairs, so make sure we go up the right way to the rocket tower. Oh, definitely getting my steps in today. And whilst you're up here as well, you get a really good view of the galleries. And this cool model of the International Space Station as well to take a look at. All the way around here. And you can see just there, you get a good view of our Soyuz module and our Gemini module as well. But we are going over to the Science Lab. Like I said, this is normally home to the Space Academy, where they do teach their lessons and things like that. And what they have in here is some very cool artifacts as well. The last thing I'm gonna show you on this little mini tour is this panel right here. Now this panel is from NASA's Long Duration Exposure Facility, or LDEF, and it's spent about six years in space. Much out of breath from the And this particular kind of sheet of metal was studying micrometeoroid impacts. I get a bit closer, you see all these little holes are actually made from teeny tiny kind of fragments floating around in space that would have actually been travelling thousands of miles per hour. So you wouldn't even be able to see these grains of like dust with our eyes, but they're travelling so fast they can pierce a hole through this sheet of metal. And those are just some of the amazing artefacts we have here at the National Space Centre. So make sure you come along and take a look for yourselves. <laughs>